Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're on location today at Rec Bar 812 in Southern Indiana shooting a review of X-Men by Stern Pinball. Please look for our review underneath the description of the YouTube video. There you'll find all of our written out metrics. Uh, beyond that, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, X-Men. Highly underrated game, by the way. It actually has a lot of flow and it's actually very fun. Most people would disagree with me on that. Three flipper setup, left end lane, you got a dual right end lane, and then of course single exit lanes on both sides. Wolverine obviously to the middle has a little bit of a magnet there. So going up your left side you have a scoop that comes out, a lane that goes all the way around to some pop bumpers to an orbit to your third flipper. You have a ramp right there that goes all the way around and exits your right end lane. third flipper obviously you have a ramp shot as well which will go all the way around exit to your left habit trail left in line and as you can hear the sound bites are pretty decent for what they are it's marvel's x-men you hear wolverine etc etc um flipper gap's not too bad you got your most in the middle which is saber two shadow king hellfire club juggernaut and of course in the center you have wolverine and xavier storm and uh your scoop has all your most you got dark phoenix extra ball danger Welcome to my lab. You have a little loopy that's behind Wolverine, so when you hit it up into that area off of your third flipper, uh, you actually have a little mini loop, obviously Xavier, or a Magneto right there when you go back, that's a lock to the back. And Magneto also has a magnet where he the whips the ball around. Medical science. Much like that of a Greek cathedral, is the work of many hands. Cyclops obviously comes around, there's a little spinner, kicks it back out to your right uh, third flipper. DMD graphics are not bad for what they are. And obviously, as you notice, the lock is not working for Magneto. And again, we are on location, so of course, there's gonna be things that work on games, things that don't work on games, but all in all, visually, this game delivers, great build art looks there. Everything plays really, really good on it. We think you're ready to join the X. So there's a loop that comes out with uh, Magneto. Let's talk about the, the art. It's, it's somewhat clip art, but at the same time, it doesn't look too bad. Call outs are actually decent. I wish there was actually more of them. I think I shall retire to my lab for some recreational science. So there's the third flipper to ramp, exit to left habit trail, left end lane. It's not too bad. So art actually is, is pretty decent. Uh, visually, the DMD looks good. Uh, cabinet art actually looks good. The back glass, the trans light looks really, really good. It's what you would expect from a Marvel uh, art package on this game. And it does have some speed to it. So although it is very blocky to the center, which, uh, you know, is not necessarily a good thing when I'm scoring, but the heavier blocking, when you get around that and actually get to the ramps and the lanes, it's got quite a bit of speed coming off of it. So that this is a moderate to light high difficulty just because the shot's being narrow, the shot's being blocked, but also you add in that, that, that speed to it. And uh, it makes it a little bit more of a brutal game. All in all, not too bad. Theme, the package of the game uh, looks really good for what it is. We would rate this roughly a 8.8 .8, uh, out of 10. So please look for our review and metrics below the YouTube video. And, and then, obviously, until next time, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, Nathan, signing off. Thank you again for watching today.